Hello there my fellow gamers, this is the ASUS ROG SCAR17 and it's one of the fastest gaming laptops money can buy in 2023. Today even more so since it's just been supercharged with AMD's first mobile X3D chip featuring their 3D V-Cache, the aptly named Ryzen 9 7945HX3D. So while the 17-inch gamer has to make do with a reused chassis from last year's Intel-based model and ASUS also cut some additional corners to separate this one from their flagship SCAR18, if you are after the fastest notebook for both work and games, well folks, this might be it. I was testing the original AMD powered SCAR17 for a while now, so we had the chance to compare both models directly to each other, especially since they are identical apart from the CPU. In addition to their Zen 4 Dragon Range 16 core silicon, both have RTX 4090s running at the maximum TGP of 175 watts, 32 gigs of DDR5 4800 RAM, and a 1TB SSD. As a clear distinction to the Intel-based SCARs with their 16x10 displays, this puppy is equipped with an old-school 16x9 240Hz QHD display. Before we get to the new CPU and how much of a performance benefit you can expect, let me quickly walk you through what is on offer regarding user experience. I was complaining about the SCAR styling in both our 2022 review and in our more recent videos about some of the 2023 models. These are amazing notebooks that can do a lot more than just run games, but with the way ASUS designed these, well, you will definitely raise some eyebrows taking this one to your next meeting or when being on assignment. Given the price point, the chassis does not feel nor look particularly premium. While I do not mind the RGB light bar at the front of the base unit, the remaining design elements do feel a little too tacky in my opinion. The lid is covered in aluminium and is relatively resistant to bends, while the plastic body does show some unwanted flexibility, even though the keyboard deck is reasonably stiff. Speaking of the keyboard deck, the used material is exceptionally prone to collect all sorts of fingerprints and smudges, and while the keyboard itself feels pretty good with a solid amount of travel and a clear pressure point, the clickpad feels as plasticky as the rest of the scar. Please do not get me wrong here, it's not like this one is a badly made laptop, it's just given its price point and the amount of performance it offers, I wish ASUS would have spent a bit more care when it comes to material selection and chassis quality. I for myself would love to see the same core components in a cleaner chassis, then this could be the perfect all around gaming creator and workstation hybrid. Regarding I.O., the selection is adequate, even though there is once more some wasted potential. The two USB-Cs alongside the HDMI 2.1, power connector and gigabit Ethernet jack are just that, USB 3.2 Gen 2, so no USB 4, and the two USB-As on the left side of the slower 3.2 Gen 1 standard as well. In the maintenance department, the SCAR does not disappoint, and the 17-inch behemoth gives you access to a pair of SODEMs, two NVMe slots and the Wi-Fi card. Removing the bottom panel also got a lot easier since you do not have to deal with a cable connecting the RGB light bar. And once inside, you enjoy the sights of the massive vapor chamber tasked with keeping thermals in check for both the GPU and CPU. On the display side of things, the 16x9 panel does a solid job of rendering your content, with slightly below average brightness results for a premium gamer, but very decent specs overall. Color gamut coverage and factory calibration are excellent, making the SCAR suitable for tasks beyond gaming, if you can live with the styling. And with this one being a standard backlit IPS panel, you do not have to deal with PWM at all. Response times are very, very snappy as well, making this one a joy to use, especially in those fast-paced FPS games, which are so generously accelerated by the new Team Red X3D Silicon, beating at the SCAR's very heart. So I guess now is a good time to talk about the new chip. As its non-3D vCache equipped brother, the Dragon Range Zen 4 Silicon comes with a total of 16 cores, capable of handling 32 threads at the same time. So the secret sauce is in the details here, and it mostly comes down to the doubled L3 cache at 128 megabytes, and how it's integrated within the chip itself. Before we have a look at gaming performance, the X3D's true virtue, let's have a quick look at our standard CPU performance testing. As you can see, the difference here compared to the normal 7945HX are minimal to non-existent, which is not really a big problem since the flagship Zen 4 chip can easily keep up or even outperform Intel's high-end Raptor Lake CPUs without breaking a sweat. 
System performance tells a slightly different story, and in our PC mark test, the X3D equipped SCAR can easily claim the throne with one of the highest scores in our database. Then again, in our synthetic 3D mark rating, the new CPU does not seem to do a whole lot though, and here the non X3D SCAR also sits a few percentage points above its supercharged brethren. But let's finally talk shop. What about games? Well, you might want to sit down for this one, but it seems like AMD really outdid themselves here. In our 1080p rating, a combination of 7 games that are very CPU dependent, we have a new king of the hill. And with quite a significant margin, I might add. While the standard 7945HX struggled quite a bit against the high-end Intel competition, the new SCAR mops the floor with its sibling and even outclasses Team Blue's offerings easily. As always, this will vary depending on the games you play, and as soon as you get to QHD or even 4K, when things get a lot more GPU bound anyways, the performance differences will not play a huge role anymore. But in 1080p and high to ultra settings, the differences are not only apparent in overall FPS numbers, but venture into feelable territory that might benefit your gaming experience quite significantly if you are after that extra bit of performance for the competitive edge. To give you some additional insight of what to expect from the SCAR 17 with both the X3D chip and the standard 7945HX, we tested a bunch of very different games for you in 1080p, QHD and all the way up to 4K. And as always, if you want to dive deeper into our benchmark results for our CPU, system performance and GPU tests, please head on over to our written review. So how is the big vapor chamber handling one of the fastest mobile 4090s and a 16 core beast of a CPU? Well, actually pretty well if a little on the hotter side, especially for the AMD Silicon. But this is something we observed in almost all Zen 4 based systems so far and should still be well within spec. Temperatures are a bit higher for the X3D variant since it seems like you cannot put liquid metal on that particular chip. As a direct result, the maximum wattage under sustained load is also a little bit lower. When it comes to efficiency and fan noise, it seems like the cache treatment is not a disadvantage, with the AMD chip still easily stomping on Intel with the same or better performance at much lower TDP values. My colleague Andreas did some pretty extensive testing under various loads, so please check out our written article for much more insight into temperature and stress test behavior. Unfortunately, I only have the non x 3 SCAR at hand, but I still wanted to give you guys a rough impression of what to expect for fan noise, so please keep that in mind for our noise samples. As we have seen from other high-end AMD notebooks so far, they aren't exactly endurance champions. And the same holds true for the two SCARs. You will get a few hours away from the wall for some light web browsing, but these are simply made for being plugged in for the majority of their lifespan. Alright folks, so what do we think about this one? Once again, I really, really wished ASUS would stop treating this one like a second-class citizen within their own lineup. If the SCAR 17 had been upgraded with a cleaner, better made chassis and a little less gamer redesign, this could have been it. One of the best all around high end performance notebooks currently on the market. That said, if you can live with the overall style and the lackluster additional features, you do get the fastest notebook in 2023. And we are not just talking games here, but the SCAR delivers for pretty much everything you can do within a notebook of its class. But of course, this is a true gamer at heart, and boy does it game. The new CPU delivers a solid upgrade in fast games and in 1080p, and the 4090 can of course drive almost all modern games in high to very high settings, all the way up to 4K. Add in the well-tuned fan curves with minimal performance compromises in the SCAR's performance mode and the excellent silent mode for when you do not need all the frames, and you get an amazing machine that will elevate your virtual entertainment experience to the next level. So for now, let's just hope you will see this CPU in more machines within the remaining months of 2023. And let's see what Intel has in store to counter this one, because if AMD can deliver this silicon in high quantities, 
well, maybe Team Blue has to put their chips in all chassis next year. But please, folks, let us know what you think about this one. Sound off in the comments below. This shall be it for today. Please like the video if you had a great time. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And for more things tech and laptops, check out our recent videos or head over to our website. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.